Good morning. The markets may be at the threshold of yet another technical breakout, but given the murky global outlook, the bulls may just remain standing. A flat start and a possible listless session for the overall market is what we have in store. The US market has been struggling lately amid a few domestic economic reports and a subdued Fed outlook. Though any fresh bad news from Europe has not hit the headlines, the situation there still remains fragile. Japan too is not doing particularly well and China is battling its own demons. One can safely assume that India is perhaps among the best bets if not the best. There is no denying the fact that India has to grapple with its own set of issues. Double digit inflation is set to only increase following the fuel price hike. Monsoons have been erratic as usual. Still, India is poised for at least 8% growth in financial year 2011. Earnings have held us quite well and can only get better. That makes it difficult for anyone to avoid India as a growth market. While market watchers see the NSE Nifty advancing further, it will find resistance at 5,400 before it gets to 5,500. Non-index counters will continue to attract attention. Support for the Nifty stands at 5,200 and around 5,000 if there is a deeper sell-off. Shares of Samrudhi Cement will be listed today post the restructuring of Grassim Industries. ITFC and Godrej Consumer will be in focus as they are reportedly in the market with their QIPs. Sterlite will be another stock to keep an eye on amid news that the centre may clear its Orissa bauxite mining proposal. Tyre companies may come under pressure owing to a spike in natural rubber prices. Technofab IPO will kick off today. Aster Silicate IPO has been subscribed over four times. The FIIs were net buyers of Rs 7.93 billion in the cash segment on Monday, provisionally, according to the NSE website. Local funds remain cautious and were net sellers of Rs 948.8 million. In the FNO segment, they were net buyers of Rs 5.28 billion on Friday. And the FIIs were net buyers of Rs 2.84 billion in the cash segment. Shares bought on the 30th of June should not be sold on the 1st of July as trades done on both these days will be settled together on the 5th of July. Also, the pay-in and pay-out schedule has changed for stocks sold on the 30th of June and July 1st to 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. on the 5th of July respectively. Moving on to the recommendations, the derivative strategies are a buy on Tata Coffee, we suggest traders to buy the stock in the range of Rs 440 to Rs 445 with a stop loss placed at Rs 434 levels for an initial target of Rs 462. A buy on Raymond. Traders are recommended to buy the stock at current levels of Rs 227 for a target price of Rs 240 and a stop loss is replaced at Rs 221 on all long positions. The derivative strategies are Short Reliance Communication to Live Future in the range of Rs 203 to Rs 204 for a target price of Rs 193 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 208. And Long Infosys July Future in the range of Rs 2806 to Rs 2810 for a target price of Rs 2866 and a stop loss is to be placed at Rs 2776. Thank you and have a great day ahead.